Hello and welcome to the virtual Year One Expectations Evening. So on this slide we have our visions and values and we focus on skills, teamwork, achieving, respect and success. So on this slide we have our Year One team. The phase leader of Year One and Two is Miss Timings. The middle leader for Year One is Miss Barnes. Miss Barnes is also the teacher in purple class with Mrs. Dinov as the learning partner. In orange class, we have Mrs. Godfrey, Mrs. Bashford and Mrs. Wilkins. In green class, Mr. Clement and Mrs. Elton. And the PPA teacher is Miss Timings. This is our expectations slide. So as across the school, we have high expectations of both work and behaviour. We give pupils the opportunity to achieve in order that pupils have high expectations for themselves. An expectation is underpinned by the routines in school and support at home. In year one, we like to promote further independence from reception. So the children will come into school and put their belongings away in a tidy, quick and a considerate way. They are responsible for handing in letters and having their resources ready to start their day. We are also a no cash school and please remember to use parent pay for trips or dinner money. On this slide, we have some important things to remember, such as our school uniform policy, information about PE lessons, including ensuring that earrings are removed beforehand and hair needs to be tied back, that toys are to stay at home, and also, very importantly, that you must inform the office to any changes in collection if it is someone different. This slide is about behaviour and recognition. Good behaviour shown in the quality of work, both the, and their attitude and play, is rewarded by class dojo points. The children's points are tallied and added to their house team's totals as well. However, poor behaviour will result in children losing playing time from either their lunch or break. Red and yellow cards may also be issued if this is persistently poor behaviour. When dealing with poor behaviour choices or classroom incidents, we use restorative practice. This allows us to find out what has happened, what has changed since the incident and what to do moving forward with the best interests of the children at heart. Here is our overview of the day. We are currently in an autumn term transition between reception and year one, aiming to bridge the gap between the two. When the children are ready and we feel it's appropriate, we will move to a standard year one timetable which allows more structure. With regards to homework and home learning, we expect the children have the opportunity to read with an adult at least three times a week, that they practice their maths interrail targets at least three times a week, and that they practice their spellings ahead of a spelling test on a Thursday. These can be recorded in your WOW books. This year, the children have been issued with a Read Write Ink book bag book. This can be found in the plastic folder with their name and class on it. These are matched to their developing phonic ability and are assessed at regular intervals. These are issued out on a Monday and returned into school on a Friday so that they can be quarantined over the weekend. Your child will also bring home another reading book which will be phonetically decodable but will include some sounds that they've not yet learned or are unfamiliar with. This is a good book to do a shared read with with an adult. This image shows the impact of reading on your child's developing vocabulary. This slide highlights assessments in year one. We use a mixture of formative assessments in a, on a daily basis in lessons, along with termly assessments. These help to inform plans, to set targets and implement intervention. On the week beginning the 7th of June, all children in Year 1 will sit a phonics screening assessment. This consists of the children being presented with 40 words to read, 20 of which are real words and 20 are what we call alien words, made up words. This assessment is to check that the children are able to segment sounds and blend a word together and read any combination of letters. We are very lucky at Carlton Primary School to have access to Doodle Maths, Doodle Tables, Doodle English and Doodle Spell. If you do not have any of these apps yet, please follow the link on the slide 
and you can download them onto a phone, onto a tablet or onto a desktop. The programme is very intuitive and uses algorithms to tailor the learning to the children's individual needs. As they progress through the app, they are awarded certificates and small prizes to celebrate their progress. If you would like to look at the end of year expectations for year one, these can be downloaded from the year one class pages on eSchools. We teach phonics through a programme called Read Write Inc. This is a cohesive programme to teach phonics. It enables every child to become a confident, fluent reader and moves away from whole class phonics sessions, grouping children to allow focused teaching and learning, enabling them to progress quickly. If you'd like to know more about Read Write Inc, please do follow the link on the slide. This slide shows you the first set of sounds that are taught to children in reception. This slide shows the sounds taught in set two and set three. As you can see, there is a rhyme to accompany each sound, which helps children learn to remember it. Our foundation subjects are taught through our quest theme. This year we will have four quest themes. Captain Carlton, Once Upon a Time, Oh No It's A, and Row 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 Your Boat. Every child is different and at different times will require different levels of support. We offer a wide range of interventions that focus on academic, social, emotional, English as an additional language and behavioural support. Each intervention is tailored to meet the needs of individuals or small groups. Social and emotional support is also available for families via the family support worker, Stella Smithson and the Thrive team. Over the academic year, we will send home two reports, an interim report in the spring term and a full end of year report in the summer term. There will also be two consultation evenings, one in the autumn term and one in the spring term. Pupil premium funding. As a school, we can receive money for families who are eligible for free school meals. This money can be used to fund all trips and residential visits, as well as extra tuition and in-school support for your child. Children qualify if you receive the following benefits. Universal credit, income support, income-based job seekers allowance, income-related employment and support allowance, support under Part 4 of the Immigration and Asylum Act 1999, and the Guaranteed Element of State Pension Credit, Child Tax Credit. If you're unsure if you might qualify, please have a look on the Gloucestershire County Council website where you can apply and there is more details on those who would qualify. Finally, we see parents as important partners in the process of developing children's language, reading, writing and numerical skills. We offer an open door policy to parents if there are any issues or questions. Although, if you do have a specific concern, it is advisable to make an appointment with a class teacher or phase leader so that we can have the proper time to discuss. We have high expectations of learning and behaviour and would like your support in these areas. Parents often ask us how they can help. And here are just a few things. Sleep is vital. Primary age children need between 9 and 11 hours in order to help them prepare for the day ahead. Providing healthy snacks like fruit, vegetables, yogurts, but we do ask for no nuts please. Providing healthy lunch boxes, participating in home learning, limiting screen time and ensuring e-safety and using local libraries. We do our best to communicate with parents and families as often as possible. The newsletter and class news will be found on our eSchools pages. If your child has to isolate, then learning activities can be located on the Year Group eSchools page. These are updated weekly, mirroring work in class. We also communicate through Facebook, the website, text messaging and wow books. We also advise that children's book bags are checked daily for letters. 
Thank you very much for taking the time to read or to listen to this presentation. We hope that it has been helpful. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask any class teacher or our phase leader. Thank you.